OK, so let's say I want to find the distance from one point to another in three dimensions. And consequently, this is the same as finding the length of the vector that goes between two points as well. OK, so effectively we're finding the length of a vector or the magnitude of a vector. OK, so let's say we want to find the length of the vector that goes from the origin, O, OK, at 0, 0, 0, up to P, which has coordinates A, B, C. OK, so if we drew in that vector, so if I make sure I try and line that up, didn't do that very well, slipped. OK. OK, so this is the vector that I'm trying to find the length of, OP. OK, so OP. And when we talk about length, OK, we usually put uh, modular signs either side to represent its length. OK, so if I want to find that length, then what I can see is that I actually have, if I join that point up with that corner there, then what in fact I have is a right angle triangle that kind of goes from corner to corner, OK? So I actually have a right angle triangle. And subsequently, maybe then, I could work with Pythagoras. Because what I've, I've got the height of the triangle. I just need the base. And the base is actually the hypotenuse of another right angle triangle, which is actually like uh, the triangle that's drawn pretty much on the floor of this box. OK, it has sides length of A and B. So this length here is the square root of A squared plus B squared using Pythagoras. So if that side length is the square root of A squared plus B squared, then this length is equal to that side squared which is just a squared plus b squared, plus that side squared, square rooted. And so this is extending Pythagoras into three dimensions. So if you want to find the length of a vector, then you just need to square and add up, square each of the um, components, the a, the b, and the c, add them all up, and then square root, OK? That is how you can find the length of a vector. So, for example, if you wanted to find the length of a vector where we had um, OA is equal to 2, 3, 4, and you want to find the length of that vector, then that is 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared square rooted. So 16 plus 4, so 20, 29. So this is the square root of 29. That is the length of that vector. It also tells you the distance between the origin and the point A, which is located at 2, 3, 4. OK? So that is how we can find um, work with distances in three dimensions.